Hello everyone, my name is Watson. In this video, we're gonna talk about a concern some of our customers might have. Some of us will want to set an IP security camera system for our business or our house for the first time. And we're gonna always wonder, if we have two or more IP cameras connected to this PoE switch, can our NVR record both these cameras if we're only having one ethernet cable to connect to the NVR? It seems very legit to have this question and this concern because it's like two ethernet cables connected to two IP cameras, but we're gonna only have one ethernet cable sending the data to our NVR. Well, it's okay to think this way because it's, it's very logical, but you have to understand that the PoE switch is acting as a data exchange center. In layman's terms, it means the PoE switch will pack up all the data it receives, then send it to our NVR. The uplink port, why do we call it an uplink port? Because it's not a PoE port. It doesn't provide us power and data. It only provides data to upload to our NVR. So in this case, we remove the PoE feature away and we, and we boost up the bandwidth for the uplink ports. We can receive both cameras data through these two ethernet cables when they reach the PoE switch it will receive the data, pack it up nice and neatly, and then send it through this one ethernet cable to our NVR. You can see that on our NVR, we have the image of both our cameras. Here is one of our camera, and here is the second camera. The second camera is kind of blurry, but you can see these are two images. So the first camera, you can see me waving my hand, and the second camera, you can see me waving my hand again. So this means that both cameras are already showing on our NVR right here. And since they're both able to reach to in our NVR, the data, it means we can record both of them. So it's pretty, it's pretty obvious that it's totally okay. No matter how much you connect to our PLE switch, it's gonna show up on the NVR. But there are two factors we have to make sure. First, it is that our NVR has to be able to have enough channels for the number of cameras. Well, we have two cameras currently, that's totally enough. But what if we have like a huge IP security camera system? We're gonna maybe have eight, 16, 32. Then we have to see if we have enough channels down here. Sometimes our NVRs cannot handle that much uh, channels for our cameras at one time. So before we connect a huge amount of IP cameras to the system, we're gonna to have to check if our NVR supports that number. And then it's the bandwidth. Yes, we have two connected to our PoE switch and the PoE switch will upload, upload the data to our NVR. But if we have more and more cameras, maybe 10, 100, the bandwidth will be multiplied or be added together. In that case, it might not be enough network speed. So the bandwidth also known as network speed, if the network speed is not enough, well, it will be able to transmit back to the NVR eventually, but it's gonna take time. And when we watch the video on the monitor right here, it's there's gonna be some latencies and uh, videos will stuck, be stuck all the time because the bandwidth is not enough to let it, all the data be transmitted here at the same time. So we have to make sure we have enough channels and the bandwidth supports the amount of data that's transmitted back. In that case, we're totally okay to use just one ethernet cable to record all of our cameras. All right, I hope that solves your concern. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching today. and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.